Dear Patriots, before the news starts, please, subscribe to our patriotic channel by clicking the subscribe button. Give us a thumbs up to this video. Don't forget to leave your opinion below in the comments section. Share the news on Facebook and Twitter so you friends see it. Thank you. New email leak shreds Hillary's cover story, exposes a secret meeting between Bill and Putin before nuke deal. The Clintons will never learn. All bad things come out in the end. Best you can do is hope for a soft landing. Hillary didn't get that in her epic soul-crushing loss. But this new email leak may bring on an even harder landing. Like the sound of prison doors closing behind her. The new email revelation, that exposed a secret meeting between Bill Clinton and Vlad Putin, is devastating on so many levels. First, it basically clears Trump. Second, it adds fuel to the fire of the already annoyed congressional investigators and may lead to a full-scale investigation if not indictments. Judge Knapp from Fox News predicted indictments and that was before these emails leaked. Third it humiliates the media. According to a bombshell report by The Hill, Bill Clinton secretly met with Vladimir Putin a few months before the shady Russia nuke deal. Bill got paid by the Russians in many ways. Through speaking fees and in donations to the Clinton Foundation better known as the Clinton Slush Fund. But these emails show a whole new angle. Bill was there trying to drum up business for a relative's company. He wanted to meet with all the movers and shakers and that included Putin. And not going to Russia to look at business deals or talking to Russians about investing in the United States sounds a lot like what they are accusing Trump of doing, doesn't it? From the Hill the Clinton friend said the former president's office then began assembling a list of requests to meet with Russian business and government executives whom he could meet on the trip. One of the goals of the trip was to try to help a Clinton family relative grow investments in their business with Russian oligarchs and other businesses, the friend told The Hill. It was one of the untold stories of the Russia trip. People have focused on Uranium One and the speaking fees. But opening up a business spigot for the family business was one only us insiders knew about, the friend said. The wealthy go where the money is, that is how they stay wealthy. And with Putin and his oligarchs there are a handful with massive funds. And they spin lavishly. Why not they basically stole it? It should not shock anyone in America that everyone is talking to those guys to get a piece of the action. Trump's cleared plain and simple and Bob Mueller can get off his broom and go back to playing golf. Second this new bombshell will certainly lead to investigations if not indictments of Hillary or those below her. Third and finally, it humiliates the media. Who have been all in Russiagate but with shaky facts. And this meeting destroys their entire narrative that no one else in our government was meeting with Russians and seeking investments that only Trump went to Russia to get money. That the Clintons are innocent. Share this as you think this clears Trump and convicts Hillary and Bill. Hell yeah! Trump just did the Incredible for One America Appeal fundraiser country concert. Texas A&M University and College Station Texas hosted the One America Appeal concert Saturday night to raise money for the relief effort to rebuild and provide aid after a devastating hurricane season. The five living former presidents Jimmy Carter, George Bush, Bill Clinton, George W. Bush, and Barack Obama came together to headline the concert and help fundraise. President Trump stayed in Washington, but he recorded a lovely video to play at the concert. President Trump delivered a message of hope and unity in the face of tragedy. This wonderful effort reminds us that we truly are one nation under God, all unified by our values and our devotion to one another. I also want to thank every person, including everyone here tonight, who has contributed to this vital effort. Together we will recover. We will rebuild. And we will come back stronger and better than ever before. President Trump personally donated $1 million to the hurricane relief effort, and so far the One America Appeal campaign has raised $31 million from over $80,000 donors. The concert will feature such acts as Alabama, Lee Greenwood, and some more. Stay tuned for more updates.
And if you'd like to donate to the relief effort, go to this website, www.honiamericapeel.org. And don't forget to share. H.T. The Hill Red October What James Comey Just Tweeted Looks Like Death Threat Against Trump James Comey may have sent out secret messages from a secret Twitter account that is rumored to be his. The former FBI director admitted that he was secretly on Twitter and Instagram to last year. The magazine Gizmodo figured out which account he was operating under and unveiled Comey's secret. His Instagram account is titled, Reinhold Niebuhr. In his senior year at the University of Chicago Law School, Comey wrote a thesis on famous theologian Reinhold Niebuhr. The Reinhold Niebuhr Twitter account assumed to be run by James Comey sent out a tweet in response to President Trump slamming him. This Thursday, he tweeted out again with the caption, Little Round Top, Gettysburg. Good place to think about leadership and values. There are many conspiracy theories about the messages right now. On Friday, Comey sent out a tweet with a picture of a man standing in a cornfield saying, Good to be back in Iowa. Iowa is the first state on the road to becoming to president. Is James Comey trying to send a message that we need a new president? Is this a death threat against President Trump? Why is the sun setting on the horizon? These tweets show that Comey could be dangerous, though. Share this right now to get this to Trump. He needs to know about this ASAP if it is a threat. Ted Cruz mocks Andy Flag NFL players to rotten core with one brilliant tweet, instantly goes viral. Ted Cruz is a smart guy and funny. And he is not afraid to poke fun at himself when he botches it. That is a combination the liberals can't stand because they like to portray conservatives as two-dimensional monsters who are neither. That is how the liberal dupe their followers, they never show the whole picture. They deal and caricature not real life. Image not substance. Just like the spoiled NFL players. Who have been told by everyone from Trump to Shaq to Charles Barkley that. Hey guys we understand what you are saying. Let's get together with owners and players and actually put our money into these communities and give them the gift of opportunity and the American dream rather than take a knee so you can get on the cover of some magazine and impress your buddies. Basically play time is over, it is time to act. Get up, honor the flag and use your wealth and power for good, teach disadvantaged communities the true power of American exceptionalism rather than rewrite history and make the greatest most generous nation on earth out to be some boogeyman. We will see if they actually do it. In the meantime, with the NFL failing and the players exposed as a fraud, see Barkley's comments, Ted Cruz decided to have some fun at the players' expense last night. Ted was at the deep from the heart, the One American Appeal, Hurricane Relief Concert at the Reed Arena at Texas A&M University. Among the dignitaries there were former presidents Barack Obama, George W. Bush, Bill Clinton, George H. W. Bush, and Jimmy Carter. President Trump sent a video message. Lady Gaga made a surprise appearance. The event helped bring the total raise to help the victims to over $30 million. It was a bipartisan good time had by all. But despite the heavyweights in attendance, Ted Cruz stole the show with one perfectly mocking tweet that is setting the internet on fire. After relentlessly bashing Trump all summer, Hollywood gets just deserts from Middle America. Hollywood just got served by Middle America. Just got verbally abused by the silent majority. Just got a wake-up call much bigger and more severe than what the NFL got. For if Americans can agree on one thing is we all work too much. We all work too hard for too little money. And when we want to unwind and spend money on entertainment that last thing we want to hear is real-world problems like politics. But there goes Hollywood ignoring the people, preaching to the liberal choir, making themselves feel important, and literally killing the golden goose. According to MarketWatch, 
after relentlessly bashing Trump all summer the box office numbers for the critical summer season and in. And they are bad. Beyond bad actually, they are terrifying. Hollywood is getting crushed, and like Kathy Griffin, is having to go overseas to recoup their investments and most aren't even doing that. Some are duds like Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Men Tell No Tales, Baywatch and Snatched got crushed domestically and barely got by overseas. Tom Cruise, one of the most bankable stars working, had a new movie out called American Made, and it failed miserably. Blade Runner 2049 inches was supposed to be a hit. It missed, costing the studio untold millions. CNN Money has an even more shocking report. The AMC, AMC, theater chain saw its stock sink more than 25% in August citing slow ticket sales. Regal Entertainment, RGC, reported to Wall Street that it would miss earnings and saw a huge drop in share price. IMAX, IMAX, announced it was cutting almost 15% of its employees. Ouch! Share this if you agree that Hollywood better clean up its act before it gets in too deep.